hey everyone welcome back so in last video we have seen how we can organize our test cases by creating test suites and that we have done in our configuration file so we were able to create suite based on the type of testings that we have and then we were able to target that particular type of features or that type of suite only today we are going to talk about a bit different topic that is file download so there are instances where you need to download the file and then you need to validate the extension or sometimes you need to validate the content of the file or sometimes you need to download and use it for any further process like a test data so let's explore how we can download the file right so first things you need to understand I'll, I'll be taking this website as an example to download the files where if you see here we have a file download option so if i click on it these are the files available it's keep on changing i think every day or once in a while but anyway what we will do We'll, there are many files we'll just try to click on any first file available here and once you click on download based on the browser you have so a few browsers it will open a pop-up few browser it will not ask for the pop-up but it will download now usually download will happen where it will not go to your project but it will go to your system's default repository that is it will download in this download folder here right in your system's repo uh, file it's not very convenient when it is downloading in this path and not in your project to validate or use it, right? So first things we have to make sure while, you know, working with file downloads to make that your file should be downloaded somewhere in your repository or project folder itself. And then you'll be able to use it for further process validations or anything, you know, like, like a test data. So let's see uh, how we can do it we have a documentation for chrome options normally what we do in selenium if you have done you'll be using a chrome op options where you'll create a chrome option then you need to create a map and you need to set the preference as a key as this download default underscore directory and the path as a value where you need to download it so in that way we will be able to set the default directory or change the default directory from particular default folder to your specific root project or anywhere now same thing let's do how we can how we can do it in our you know project so if you go to configuration file we'll have a capabilities section if you just keep on scrolling here capability section and for each browser you will have one here uh, area so where as of now we have only chrome okay so let's add for the chrome but you can add the similar way for other capabilities as well First now let's explore what we need to do in the configuration here. So what this is the key and value we need to pass as a path. But we cannot create Chrome option. This is more of for Java or a few other languages. If you read here Chrome option object here, most Chrome specific capabilities are exposed through Chrome options object. In some languages, this is implemented by Chrome options. In other languages, they are stored under this chrome options dictionary desired capability for javascript or typescript also we have we need to use this desired capability dictionary itself so let's copy this and then come to your configuration file in configuration file for your browser now we are in this is this is for chrome i think what i'll do i'll just let me add enter space this is our browser the browser configuration so this object is for browser itself whatever details we have here and let me just remove extra things which is commented out okay now this is for chrome browser okay in this we need to add so we need to say comma and then in double quote we need to pass this chrome options and then colon and curly bracket now in this you can define all your chrome options you know how if you want to run in headless mode or if you want to run in different you know other arguments you can pass for now let's see how we can set the preferences now this is what is the preference you need to set here and it says also here that if you want to set preferences you need to say press okay as a chrome option so let you need to say here again in double quote prep or single quote preps colon and again in curly bracket here you need to pass the key value pair if you have multiple you can just add enter and keep on adding key value pair here for now 
let's set this key that is default download default directory as a key which will change your download default directory and then colon and you need to pass the path in double quote here so whatever you have path you know like you know whatever c colon in your drive if you want to change something but we want to download in this project itself so first things we will say in node we have something called process dot cwd cwd is nothing but current working directory so it will give you the current working directory our current working directory is web driver io cucumber ts right so it will download in this project folder but i want to create a download folder and inside keep all the downloads so you can keep that now uh, you, you can just append it so how we can you know you have first the repository means first current working directory and then you need to append a, another folder the best way to do is to use join path dot join available in node.js for that you need to import path first so let's import that and i'll import on the top itself import path from in single or double quote path All right and use this path to join the multiple directories so what i'll say here now path dot we have something called join now how it works it will take the multiple paths and it will join it together so current run working directory is one path again comma and then folder and if you have another folder also to join again you say comma and another folder name you can say but i want to join only this one folder and then close the bracket now i want to join another folder that is called downloads now good thing about this is if this folder does not exist then it will automatically create folder for you and it will keep it so as of now if you see here we don't have downloads so in path dot join if it is not found it will create the folder automatically for you so what will be our now default directory current root project folder inside that downloads folder and it will join the path so this is what your path will be now i have already created one sample feature file and a step definition to do this now let me explain you whatever i have written currently so first i have a step written given i open the browser and load the url this step is exactly same i have taken from this form dot feature here not sorry form dot feature i think it is in home okay so if you see here it's the same thing only difference is this home page url let me make it home page url itself or you can keep page url so it will not make any difference it, it can be anything here okay the later data only will be appended so i've just copied this given statement from home dot feature and i've added here just change this page url you can keep home page url so there is no difference in that and if you do this because it it does nothing but open the browser and load the url i don't have to write again a step definition because i have already written once for this home feature so i don't need to rewrite again that's the power of having cucumber feature uh, you know feature we, we if you have a similar step you don't have to write twice again for the same step and if you hover your mouse it will be able to recognize this step also browser and whatever the home page it is going from the feature file that will be loaded and maximize the window the second step is when i click on first file now that is nothing but i'll open this url which is again i have defined here right so this is the url it will load and it should download the first feature file so let me just walk you through the step definition i have written for when i click so it is like when i click on first file which is this step right now what it will do for time being if if i'll keep in this way it will it will look for always specific of this file so yesterday this file was available but today i don't see so what we'll do we'll keep a you know generic x path which will work every time when we come here so it should pick any type of first file from the download folder so let's write a x path in that way itself so that even the file changes still script will work fine yeah so these are the multiple hrefs available right and inside all href we have files now the common between all these files x path is download now let me make use of this href because if i'll say only slash a see suppose i'll say control f slash slash a and at the rate href which will have some link then first link is this but i don't want to click on i want to start from here in this file right this is the first file to download so what i'll do i'll make use of contents available in x path so i'll say contents at the rate href then comma 
and then space in single quote and you need to provide uh, you know the part partial you know partial link text i can say here so it is download so i'll say download you see the first file it is a and if you keep on clicking enter it is matching but uh, no worry even if it is finding multiple elements if we say it's single URL, it will first matching element will be taken in, in the consideration so let's keep this instead of this part and delete this so this will take the first matching element and it will then i'm storing that in a variable and then i'll click on it and let's not keep for five second wait i'll keep three second okay just to see whether it's downloading or not there is uh, no other purpose okay so i'll keep this three second let it download so it will click on the element and it should download now download should happen where not in the default directory of your system but it should create as we have defined in our configuration file here and that in current working directory you should have a downloads folder here and there your download should be available so let's see how it goes let's try to run this file target only one specific feature file i can say from here npm run test space space sorry hyphen hyphen space hyphen hyphen spec space then your folder test under test it is under features under regression so test features regression slash find on let me just copy this file now and paste it here just to make sure it is finding correctly so what i'll do and the path if i've given correctly i'll hover our mouse here and it will if it will click here it will open the file so your path is correct now let's run this and see if the download is working properly or not so yeah it's trying to download the file now it's opened the website and it clicked on it right yeah it clicked on the file see if it downloaded or not or we, we got something so uh, let's check it here steps so step is fast here okay and if you see here downloads folder is created right and let's see if you expand here and let me just cross a bit uh, it's a big file name okay there is something that's here download that means uh, it was not downloaded fully properly though one thing we are sure now that it is creating a download folder as we have defined here okay as you have defined here in process cw it created a download folder and it was trying to download the file also because it is not downloaded fully it, it is showing like this this is what happens if your download is not completed maybe next video i'll show you how we can handle the wait and wait until this download is complete or not but for time being what i'll do let me just increase the time out here in our test from three seconds to um, six seconds we'll we'll be able to handle it with a dynamic weight uh how we'll wait until the downloads complete but for time being i'll just increase you and i'll keep the browser dot pause i'll delete this file again okay and i'll delete this folder itself and rerun again just to make sure that it is downloading properly so i'll just delete this okay i've deleted and let me just drag it this side let me rerun again yeah it's loading the url now it will maximize the window and it will click on that file so maximized and it clicked on it and i think it's downloading yeah you'll see here it is downloading and it's downloaded I'm not sure if still in six second it was able to do it or not but let's see validate it so and if we expand yeah you see the objectivity test automation c sharp framework txt and if we see here in this file first file is the same right and the same file has been downloaded here text file correctly right it is created download folder and it, it downloaded this some random text we have but yeah this file is downloaded so in this video we have seen now how to just download a file in particular folder here okay your customized folder in next video we will try to explore how we can read this file and how we can find the extension of this file and then validate whether we are able to see the particular extension of this file so that we will see in the next video thank you so much